video will be on my month two update on my Accutane journey. So if you haven't seen my month one update, please exit off this video and go check that out and come back here because you need to see this to understand this video. And I have a whole entire Accutane journey playlist or acne journey playlist because I will be talking about other acne related things on that, skincare and everything like that. So please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing my journey and if you're just interested in healing your acne. So in this video, I will be also talking about my Accutane skincare and my hyperpigmentation. So I'll be showing you what I use to wash my skin and everything like that. So I just picked up my second round the other day and it comes in a white bag like this. This is from Walgreens. That's where they send my prescription. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what my version of it is and kind of how the pill actually looks. So this is the Clarivis version. I'm gonna show you guys the back so you don't see my address. Let's see, yes. So this is what version I get. Not everybody is going to get this version. I actually used to have another version but they stopped giving it to me, which I don't know why, but they have tons of generic Accutane versions, so don't expect to get this same one. And it comes in three packs like this. So this is how it comes, and right now I'm on 40 milligram. They're trying to get me up to 80, that is the goal. But yeah, right now I'm on 40 milligrams, and what they do to figure out what kind of milligrams to put you on, so they take your weight, and that's how they decide, because I started off actually on 20, and they're just upping me as the month progresses. Right here, it has don't get pregnant because it is crucial us women do not get pregnant on Accutane because it can be really harmful for your baby. And here what the actual pills look like. And I haven't taken my actual Accutane pill for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because yeah, I definitely need to take my pill for the day. Now when I take it out of the thing, here is what it looks like. It's really small. You definitely always need water with this. I cannot swallow this without water. So I'm going to go ahead and take this pill and I'll come back for the rest of the video. So I'm back from taking my pill and as for how often you should take the pill, try to take it every single day. If you miss a day or two, that's okay, but you need to be consistent. If you want to see faster results, you need to take it every single day. The first thing that you want to do, ladies, especially if you wear makeup, get a good makeup remover. Now, I use the Neutrogena makeup remover because this literally gets my makeup straight off like I really really love that makeup remover and then I use the CeraVe hydrating face cleanser now I've always used this even before Accutane I just really really love CeraVe the cleanser is so moisturizing and I really love that I did use the Cetaphil one but I honestly don't see a difference and plus every time the dermatologist says uh, a facial cleanser you should use they always say either CeraVe or Cetaphil so it just depends on you and what you prefer so this is for normal to dry skin and I just use that and I've already washed my face for the day so I'm not gonna wash it right now but I'm gonna show you guys what I use to prep for the day. So what you also need to use on Accutane is a sunscreen. Now it's super important that you use a sunscreen because especially for my girls with hyperpigmentation. So if you have dark marks or hyperpigmentation like me, I fall victim to it very, very easily. The reason, one of the reasons why it gets darker over time instead of lighter is because you're out in the sun and you are not using protection. So make sure you have a sunscreen. I use this pure um, baby sunscreen by Neutrogena, it doesn't really matter as long as it's 50 SPF, uh, that's what I get. I actually have noticed when I actually first got this is that this sunscreen does go on white but a lot of sunscreens have that white cast and I mix it with a little bit of grapeseed oil and the reason why I do that is because I find when I just use normal sunscreen it's super super hard to rub on my skin for some reason so I like to mix it with a nice oil so it just applies way more smoother so I'm just gonna rub that in my hands and I'm gonna rub that in my face and my forehead because right now, if you guys could see, the main spots the dark marks are on is in my forehead. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to show you guys 
a close up of my skin and I'm going to put it side by side in my last video of my update so you guys could see side by side how they look on video. I feel like that performs way better than pictures. If you do want to see the pictures that led up to my Accutane journey, check out my first month update because I have all the photos in there. But in this video, I'll just be doing it side by side with the previous video. So this is the side of my face. All of these marks right here. They're just freckles, like they're not actual dark marks, but I'm really, really happy that I don't have any acne marks right here because I used to have acne right around this area and it would go right here beside my nose and yeah. So here is my chin. Here's this side. This side of my face looks like this. My forehead. So my forehead is still a problem area. As, as you can see, you can still see the dark marks on it, but they are fading which does make me happy. But yeah, hopefully when I'm done with my journey, it'll be as clear as my cheeks because I'm really proud of this. Like, if you guys could have seen my cheeks, actually, I'll put a freaking picture. My cheeks used to look like this. Um, now they look like this. I've come a really, really long way. But yeah, here is my forehead. I... My biggest tip for you guys with hyperpigmentation like me, because I've had it forever, like, and I think that's the reason why I hated getting acne so much because some people, they'll get acne and pimples and it'll go away and it'll leave no marks, like their skin will be so smooth. But other people, like me, will get acne and then it leaves so many marks on my face. I used to have it all over my cheeks. And it was so bad and that's the reason why I really hated getting hyperpigmentation and acne scars and it would be so so hard to remove because it's not gonna go away overnight you have to progressively treat it so it can go away so if you right now aren't on Accutane and you do want something that'll treat your dark marks I do recommend getting either Natanola or I recommend even better than that you need to treat your acne and your pimples before you treat your dark marks because you can treat your dark marks all day but if you keep getting pimples and you keep getting acne that is the cause of you getting dark marks because you're getting acne it's going away but it's leaving a mark because you're either messing with it you're picking on it or just because you're a person of color we are usually really prone to developing marks on our faces so please treat your acne and your pimples first and then treat your dark marks it'll just be way more more smoother in that kind of form but I definitely do recommend Natanola that has helped me a lot with lighting my marks so Accutane has been helping me a ton with my marks and I'm just so happy that I've gotten in on it because like I said in my other video I haven't found anything that's been helping me with my acne forever like I think the last time I found something that was actually helping me was when I was in middle school or beginning of high school and even in high school my acne was so bad so if you guys are thinking about getting on Accutane and you're just watching this because you're thinking about it or nothing you're using is working for you and you're just at your wits end get Accutane like this is the best decision I have ever made. I'm so so happy that I made this decision because People think oh, they're just pimples. It's just acne get over. It's just skin But they don't understand what it does to your self-esteem Especially if you're like me and I've literally gotten picked on for having acne Then you understand that also and even just seeing people with clear skin and they literally do nothing and it just comes so natural it just makes you feel so jealous and just so sad because you don't understand why your skin is not like that so if you are at that point that I was at that my acne was literally causing me 
depression, get Accutane. Like if you're a minor or whatever, beg your parents, <laughs> please get it because this definitely, definitely is helping me so much. So now I'm just gonna go put on some makeup and then I'll come back for the rest of this video. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. And if you wanna see this makeup routine that I use on Accutane, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And just give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.